Hello, in this video we're going to look at graphing indifference curves, the case of quasi-linear utility functions. A quasi-linear utility function takes on this form right here, where the derivative of utility with respect to good x is positive, or partial derivative of utility with good x, I should say, is positive, and good x displays diminishing marginal utility. The second derivative, partial derivative of utility function with respect to good x is negative. So here is a specific functional form that takes on this quasi-linear utility function. So let's say we want to graph an indifference curve where utility equals 10. So the way I do this, uh, I'm going to solve this utility function for x. So moving y over here, subtracting y from both sides, dividing both sides through by 2, getting rid of this square root here on x by squaring both sides. And then the last step here, all I do is plug in 10 for u. So we solve this utility function for x and then plugged in 10 for u. If we wanted to graph an indifference curve for u equals 15, you know, would have plugged in a different number. So here's our step, uh, our result from the last uh, slide. And now I'm just going to evaluate this at different values of y and get our coordinates that we can plot over here on the right. So the first one I do, um, I, I, I recognize that if y is 10, then x is 0. So I started here with 10. Um, so Here's one point, and you can see it over here. If x is 0, y is 10. So these quasi-linear utility functions will intercept a axis, either vertical or horizontal axis, uh, depending on which good is linearly related to utility. And then I plug in 2. So plugging in 2, 10 minus 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, squaring that is 16. So when good y is 2 and good x is 16. Utility is also 10. And we could plug these numbers back in here, putting in 16 for x and 2 in for y, and it better, better uh, be to utility of 10 if we did this right. And then doing these other values here, uh, plugging in 4, we get 9 for x. So, um, 4 for y, 9 for x, and then plugging in 6 for y, and so on, and plotting those points. That's how you graph an indifference curve for a quasi-linear utility function. Okay, hope you found this video helpful.